It's been said that one person's trash is another one's treasure. And that is precisely the point of an art project commissioned by the city of Grand Prairie. Some of those hairs will be yellow. Just to, that's what creates the palomino. Palomino is basically red underneath. Isn't it? So I'm going to create a bit of a yellow hue. Award-winning Western artists Randy Metter and Julie Asher Lee were brought in to combine their talents to repair and repaint two fiberglass horses originally donated to the city before the Breeders' Cup World Championships of Thoroughbred Horse Racing that were hosted at Lone Star Park in Grand Prairie in 2004. The pieces had become dilapidated and were headed for the city's landfill for disposal until solid waste and recycling manager Patricia Redfern rescued them. When we learned that they were coming to the landfill anyway, we really got excited about this is something that we could really build some landscape around and really feature and uh, recycle, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, and uh, really make something beautiful out of something that was destined to be trash. It took Randy and Julie a few weeks to bring the horses back to life, so to speak. It's going to get a little noisy. They painstakingly worked on every little detail with a specific theme in mind a Native American tradition called Many Hands, where members of a tribe place their handprints on their horses. There's a couple of reasons that Native Americans put hands on horses. One of them is, is a gathering of tribes, if you will, and we thought, well, that's a, that's a great theme to run with. Plus, if you've got many hands, then there's many folks in the tribe, if you will, and we can translate that to a city. It takes many hands to run a city. It takes many hands to build a city. So it's a, I think, a pretty good picture. Right there, just like that. And In this case, the many hands include the handprints of landfill staff and their family members on the stallion and colt that will be permanently installed as part of the city's beautification project at the landfill. There you go. Look at that. It takes many hands to make a city. And this is this is really our tribe, and so we get to we get to put hands on the horse ourselves, and it'll be something symbolic for the people working at the landfill, as well as the people that live in Grand Prairie. Just so proud to be a part of this project, and it, and it is it's a it's a part of the city's history, and it's also it goes in right with the theme of the city, and it's I just I love the fact that they are wanting to do something with art for the whole city to enjoy. Somewhat poetic because here are two pieces whose route and whose destination was the landfill as residents. Yet they were resurrected, they were pulled out, they were, they were given another lease on life to be revived and almost become a, a, a symbol for what things can be in all of our lives. The horses are scheduled to start greeting customers at the landfill the first week of August.